Anil Ambani, it would appear, is receiving special favours from the central government, specifically from the Ministry of Nithin Gadkari, the Highways Ministry. Now, Anil Ambani's Reliance Infra holds or controls a company called PS Toll. Now, PS Toll received a contract to widen the Pune Bangalore Highway, which is a 140 kilometer stretch, 10 years ago. They've missed five deadlines on that contract. And instead of penalizing the company, Nitin Gadkari's ministry has decided to give the company a loan of 260 crore rupees. And that's the problem. Now, this is a story that was written out by journalist Makran Kargil for the Mumbai Mirror before it was picked up by other newspapers. But let's take a look at these personal favours or the special favours the company has received from the government according to this report. Now, apparently, first, first point is, as per the rules, if a company misses the milestone, so obviously in a big long project that goes on for a certain number of years, and in this case, it was to go on for about three years, they go milestone by milestone and the government gives them money in tranches. So if the company, according to the rules, misses two milestone deadlines, the third milestone, they don't get money from the government. They're supposed to finish on their own with their own money and then they get access to what is called the escrow account. So there's a special account in which the government puts money and these companies can only withdraw money when they receive permission. So that penalty was not exercised at all in this particular case. Now, this project was supposed to be finished in the first 30 months with only a one-year extension. It was given five extensions and now, 10 years later, it is still not complete. Let's look at the special favour number two. Now, in this favour, in the rules, there is a special uh, particular clause that says, if there is a delay in the finishing of the job, the government can charge a penalty of 0.1% of the security deposit per day of delay up to a maximum of 20% of that deposit. This penalty clause was not actioned either. Instead, the government decided to give them money of 260 crore rupees to finish this particular project. And of course, there was an accusation between October 2010 and October 2012 that this company took money out of the escrow account that is meant only for construction and diverted it into its mutual fund business, which is obviously completely illegal. And the CAG, which is the auditor of the government, pointed this out and then the money came back. Now, in spite of doing something so illegal, the ministry did nothing but slap a fine of a meager 22 lakh rupees on that company. And that does sound like a special favour. And the company continued to hold this massive contract. There's also a dispute where the company is supposed to give the government a certain share of the toll that it's collecting, which it has not paid in the last one year, saying that it has been waived off that particular uh, need of payment. But the government says that it has not waived it off. There's another story where basically a year or so ago, there were activists who filed a complaint saying this company was collecting toll without finishing the road. And that is fundamentally illegal. So basically, they collected toll of over 1,700 crore rupees that is being argued is illegal. But what does the ministry under Mr. Nitin Gadkari do? They decide to actually give him a loan to finish the project instead of penalizing this company for all of the wrongdoings that it has done. Now, this is according to the report in the Mumbai Mirror. But if we look at all of the other news that's coming in around Anil Ambani right now, he is being taken to court by Chinese banks that he had borrowed money from to the tune of about $600 million that he's not paid back. And in that court case, his lawyer went to court and said, Mr. Anil Ambani has no money. He has no net worth. His net worth is currently zero and he has no assets. And even his brother, who's the richest man in the country, is not in a position to help him out. Now, Mr. Ambani, Anil Ambani's two sons, who had been appointed to the Board of Reliance Infra six months ago, have suddenly resigned. This has sent employees in all Reliance companies, or uh, Anil Ambani's Reliance companies, which is Reliance Infra, Reliance Capital, and Reliance Power, into a tizzy because they're now worried about their jobs. So everybody seems to be concerned at this point. Even the court in UK said that, I know you have some yachts and you have some fancy cars, so we don't take it for granted that you have no money. So the court eventually said that he has to pay $100 million at least in the next six weeks. So while that court took a fairly hard stand, 
the only one who doesn't seem to be worried about what's going on in this particular case is Mr. Nitin Gadkari and his ministry who have decided not to take a hard stand instead to lend more money to someone who has just said that he has zero net worth and might not be able to pay anything back.